guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Riley. Thanks for being here. Just a little background information for this video. I am a rising sophomore here at the University of Florida. I am staying in an apartment. I post college videos. I post health, lifestyle, cheerleading, all of the above. So if you like that kind of content, you should definitely subscribe. But I really hope this video is helpful for you. If you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for what you need to bring to college. And I'm here to tell you that you clicked on the right video. Here is absolutely everything that I could think of that I think you need to bring to college. The first thing is actually counterintuitive. I'm gonna tell you what not to bring. It'll be short and sweet. Basically, if you don't use something every day at home, you're most likely not going to use it every day in college. That being said, don't bring anything that you don't typically use every day at home to college. Now let's talk essentials. So most of these things are gonna be the same if you're moving into a dorm or an apartment, wherever you're living, it's all kinda of gonna be the same. So if you're moving into a dorm or an apartment, you are definitely going to need a Brita filter. You're not gonna to wanna to buy plastic water bottles every week or two weeks, however often you might need them. So that being said, I would suggest a Brita. We have one. I think you replace the filter every several months. They're like 30 bucks on Amazon. I'll definitely have some linked down below for your convenience. But I found that it's really easy to just fill up a water bottle, take it to go, rather than buying plastic water bottles every week. The next thing that you are definitely going to need are cleaning supplies. So like a vacuum, if you have carpet, you're definitely gonna want a vacuum, whether it's a little mini handheld vacuum for your dorm or you want like a full-size vacuum for your apartment. I know our apartment has carpet, so I love to vacuum like at least once a week. The next thing you're gonna need, whether you're staying in an apartment or a dorm, is definitely organization bins. I'm staying at an apartment, I think I just said that, but even I really wanted organizational bins, whether it's for the pantry or my closet it or my dresser even it's been really nice to have those I know if you're staying in a dorm you're definitely gonna want some for your desk area to organize your makeup or school supplies and a pretty big one that I feel like everyone should have is a hanging shoe rack I'll insert some photos of what I'm talking about but basically it's a rack that you can hang on your door and it fits so many pairs of shoes this is gonna be so much better and it's not gonna take up as much storage space in these small dorms. It'll definitely give you more closet space for clothes and other stuff like that. Now this next one is more for a dorm. I mean, you could get it for an apartment, but you don't really need it. But you'll definitely want a mini fridge for your own snacks. You and your roommate could definitely get together and figure out what kind of snacks you wanna bring, or you can get your own mini fridge and just stock it with like mini water bottles if you want, some fruit just to snack on. Some dorms are kind of far from the dining hall, so it's not as convenient to walk to the dining hall whenever you want a snack. With food in mind, you're also going to want cups, bowls, silverware, plates, paper towels, napkins, that kind of kitchen stuff. For an apartment, you would typically get reusable ones, usually ceramic, but for a dorm, I would suggest paper plates. The amount of times I've heard people saying they don't have time or don't wanna do their dishes in their dorm sink has been a lot of time. So with that being said, paper plates are a better option for you. I know it's not great for the environment, so it's really up to you on that one. Obviously, the better choice for the environment would to be use reusable ones, but I feel like if you're not using plates, cups, bowls, that kind of stuff too often, that paper is going to be a better option for you. Also, with that being said, you're not going to want to bring too many cups or mugs from home. I would say you could designate like one or two cups or mugs for your personal use. There's no need to bring more than that because it's going to take up extra space. Also, a reusable water bottle has been been so great in college. I use a Hydro Flask. This keeps my water so cold. Same with the Yeti, but I like the Hydro just because it has the lid, just the lid, the lid. <laughs> just because it has the straw. I really like drinking out of the straw. Yetis do that as well, but I don't know. I like this because I can like work out with it. It has a little handle. I can carry it. With the Yetis, I have to hold it like this all the time and I don't really like that. This little piece is just extra convenient. The last thing you might need in your kitchen of your dorm is a trash can. So in a dorm, you'll get like a small trash can that'll fill up within like two days. So that's why I suggest getting a larger one full size. That way you can just take your trash out whenever it fills up. This is also a dorm essential, a shower caddy. So you can get these at Target, probably the dollar store even. But if you do have communal bathrooms, you're, you're definitely gonna need one of these. 
these. With that, you're gonna need some towels, maybe take like one or two towels. Also a robe if you don't like walking back to your dorm room in like a towel. If you feel more comfortable, you can wear a robe or even bring your clothes to change into. Shower shoes are a necessity. They can be super cheap flip-flops, just something. You definitely don't wanna stand on that floor of the shower. Another important thing that, that people who live in dorms typically like to have is a LED mirror for like makeup or something. It doesn't have to be huge. I'm just saying like a small one circle so you can do your makeup. If you have a roommate, this is gonna be clutch. If you have class at 7 a.m., they don't have to wake up until 9 a.m. You definitely don't wanna wake them up by turning the lights on. So I would suggest a small little mirror with an LED light. You can see what you're doing, but you don't have to light up the whole room. The next thing I'm gonna talk about are clothing items so obviously you're gonna want some hangers for wherever you're living because the dorm rooms don't have that much storage in their closet i would suggest taking a lot of basics like tank tops t-shirts jeans shorts leggings the more basics you have the more it's going to be easier to throw something together you're definitely going to want a pair of going out shoes the next thing that i could think of are some medications so your typical like cough drops, Advil, ibuprofen, Tylenol, Benadryl, an EpiPen if you need it, Band-Aids, Neosporin. There are some things that you don't usually think about, but you will find that you'll need eventually. So that's why I'm telling you now. You're welcome. You're also going to need mattress toppers and sheets. So I believe the dorm rooms have a twin bed, twin XL. I would look that up just to be sure, but you're gonna want a mattress topper because in most cases, they do not provide you with one. And if you don't have one on your bed, you're gonna be sleeping on a rock. So I would definitely suggest finding a good mattress topper. They can get kind of pricey, but I do think the investment is worth it. It really can make all the difference. I've also seen that a fan is pretty essential essential in a dorm hall. Dorms don't have fans. If your roommate doesn't like to sleep in the cold and you do, you can buy one of these at Target. I've seen many at Target. They also have little clip-on fans that you can clip onto the bed frame of your bed so it's like smaller and it's in your face. You're also gonna want a power strip for your dorm or an apartment. I have a couple power strips in my room because I have so many different things to plug in and not enough outlets to plug them in in. Yeah. And I'm sure the dorm is gonna be the same way. You're gonna want some extra little outlets to plug in your electronics, chargers, stuff like that. The last thing that I could think of are command strips. You can hang up a lot of stuff in your dorm rooms with command strips. Also, you can do the same for an apartment or house, wherever you're staying. If your apartment complex is strict about messing up the walls or if you're not staying there for very long, you have to cover everything up by the time you're moved out. Command strips is a good option for you. They peel so easily. There's really heavy duty ones that can hold a lot of stuff. So that was everything that I could think of. If you think of anything else or you think I missed something, Thing, please comment it down below. Let's help each other out here. A little reminder, I will try to link everything that I can find so that it's easier for you. I'm so excited for you. Get to move into college, whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, whatever you may be. College is great. College is an experience. It's gonna be a great year. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, it would really mean a lot to me if you would click that red subscribe button right down there. And after you do all of that, I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Maybe, maybe.